not really a nine to five, but it's good, you know, it's what I wanted to do since I was a kid and very fortunate to live my dream and, and be a Formula One driver. Please to take off, number one. It's the best job in the world, but uh, I really enjoy it. These days, uh, I get paid to go flying every day uh, in a Hornet. Hey, Michael, Daniel, oh, nice how are you? Daniel. Yeah, good, yeah. good. I'm, I'm a little bit overwhelmed right now. It's like two, two dreams are right in front of me pretty much. Wow, mate, that is awesome. And how long have you been flying? I've been flying about four years in the Hornet, about yeah. seven years total. Joined at 19, so it's been pretty quick. Uh, yeah. Probably didn't get started as quite as early as you did. I mean, but yeah, started go-karts yeah. when I was nine years old, but yeah. obviously you can't fly no, when you're awesome. nine, can you? And now you're behind <laughs> the wheel of an F1 car, it's awesome. Yeah, so what, what do you reckon, mate? We'll, uh, we'll get out on there and uh, yeah, give them a bit of a show. Go for a bit of a blat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, yeah. all right, mate. Hey, See mate. you in there. Awesome. Being indoors too much, spent a lot of time, yeah, kicking the footy, playing cricket, doing all sports. Wasn't the most naturally gifted at school, but worked pretty hard. Then for the rest of the school time, I was pretty big into sports. So I played a lot of rugby, a lot of cricket, which took up most of my time. Love speed. I mean, I loved even on, on a push bike, you know, going down the, the big hills and just having a bit of fun and anything that was going to scare me. It was, uh, I always enjoyed. Went off to uni for two years, and then pretty much at the end of that two years, realised it wasn't what I wanted to do. So put the application in the Air Force, and things went from there. Signing with Red Bull Junior Program definitely put my racing first. There was times where it got pretty tough, and you were failing flights, and it was getting hard, but you can only do your best, and uh, determination will get you through. So G is just the force of gravity, so sitting here, uh, I'm at 1G. So when we're flying, we'll pull upwards of about 7.5G, but I uh, generally find you get used to it after a while, you don't even think about it. So you'll come back from a flight, you might be a bit tired or a bit sore, but airborne, you don't even think about it. You know, even though we're fixed pretty much in the car with our belts and a moulded seat, all that load still goes through the body, so... After an hour and a half, two hours of a race, you, you definitely feel it, and, yeah, you can wake up, you know, pretty stiff the next morning. Pushing something to, to the limit has always been, you know, something I've enjoyed doing, and Formula One is uh, a lot of fun. Becoming a, an F-18 pilot or a fighter pilot isn't unachievable. I don't have a university background. I uh, wasn't terribly gifted at school. I think uh, for anyone that has the inkling they might want to do it, if you've got the attitude and the perseverance, then you, uh, you'll, you have a good shot at getting there. To find out how to become a fighter pilot, Search fighter pilot now. Makes this car look a little, little bit slow now, so uh, I'll have to speak to the designers and, and get them to uh, sharpen their act. <laughs>